You would think after all this time, they would find the money to open the bathrooms. You would think, if they're so hard up they should bring back the coin-operated toilets. What's a quarter when you have to pee? Julie that sounds about right, but nowadays it would probably be five dollars. This smells awful. You're right, that was pretty bad, what can you do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm calling customer service. Hello. Thank you for calling Marta customer service. My name is Josh. How can I help you? Josh, this is Julie from Bughead. Okay Julie. What's the problem? It's the elevator. It smells like you are riding in a porta potty. It's Pukesville. I hope I'm not the first one to report this. Julie. You are not. We've heard this several times this week. I know there are plans being made to do something about the problem. What and when? I'm not sure what. But soon. Thanks for calling. Hey Maury. I just got another call on the elevator urination problem. This must be your lucky day. Hello. Thank you for calling Marta customer service. My name is Maury. How can I help you? Hello. Did you say Maury? What kind of name is that? Are you located in the U.S.? Ma'am, I'm right here in Atlanta. Now what can I do for you? Maury, you're very funny. I'm calling about the mortal elevators. The smell of urine is so bad, I have to hold my breath till I get off. One of these days I'm going to pass out. Ma'am, we'll be announcing a solution soon. It'll be on the television and the website. Please be patient. Thanks for calling. Okay. What the hell is so important this morning? Boss, it's the elevators. They stink and the calls are coming from all over the system. That's right, boss. We can't keep up with the rest of our work. We have to do something. I'll show you what we're going to do. It will take two weeks for us to set up the test elevator. If it works, we'll go system-wide. Come with me, okay boys. Get those boxes and put them on the desk. Open them up carefully. Now this is the urine detector and amp. That is the camera. The camera goes on the ceiling and amp. The detector goes in each corner of the elevator. If anybody pees. We got him. How? Yeah, how? That's how. Hold it. Stay where you are. Who peed in the elevator? I needed to check out the system. I'm a nut when it comes to user-friendly systems. This one is definitely not user-friendly. So gentlemen, I understand we caught one of the elevator pishers, for lack of a better word. Not bad after hundreds of complaints, right? Yes we did sir. We took the initiative. Just like you said. Go out and get the job done. And boy did we get the job done. Shocked this guy out of his jock, as we used to say on the gridiron. Rumor has it that your approach was unorthodox. Tell me about it. Sir. Really simple. We installed a camera and amp. A splatter urine detector in the elevator. When suspect pees the urine detector sets off the alarm the camera takes his picture. And we rush him to make the collar. Almost instantaneously. Great. What about the cost? Cheap boss. Real cheap. 250 for the camera. 10 grand for the urine detector. Less than 11 grand. 11 grand for all the elevators. Not exactly. That's the cost for of one elevator. So the real cost for over 100 elevators is over a million dollars. I guess so. That's not so cheap. Paul, I appreciate your initiative. I have one question. Why the hell didn't you just open the bathrooms? Shut up. This is a true story. Unfortunately this is not an exception. Too many quasi-governmental agencies just run amok.